Hello, world. Sorry if you hear that squeaking. That's just because my grandma's kit cat is being so cute. Yeah. What kind of whistle is that? Oh, by the way, this Polar Express looking train? Yeah. This thing is actually a brother or a cousin, I guess I should say, to the locomotive that I reviewed in the last episode. You know why? They're made by the same company, Alco. American. Yes, American Locomotive Works. The 484 Northern. The NYC or New York Central 060 and the Union Pacific Challenger are actually cousins. What the flippin' do? I'm going crazy! And also, one thing I wish that when you blow the whistle, Oh, by the way, this is a pretty good suggestion. Like, steam would actually come out of it. Yeah, that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? I think it would. This locomotive actually has a pretty big looking ashtray. You know, there was that thing right underneath the firebox that catches the hot ash that fall through. And there's a door in there that lets all the coal out, you know. Well, there's a door that lets all the coal out into the ash pan. And then there's a door in the ash pan that they use to pull it out to get all the, get all the, use the coal and wood out. But... This thing looks like it's an oil burner, so yeah, won't be needing any of those tools today. And also, we won't be needing the emergency brake. Because, you idiot, we won't need it. Okay, whoopty flippin' do. Actually, apparently, it seems to be. A locomotive that runs on coal. I am confused. Do they have some sort of cover that goes on the um, you know, that goes on the tender? Because that's what it seems to be. Because apparently, no ass to run on oil. How in the flippin' world does this work? Tell me. Please tell me. How in the world? Like, you're not supposed to be able to open the firebox when it's a goddamn oil burner. Tell me how this works. Oh, I'm so confused. I've never been so confused about trains in my entire life. I'm pretty sure Laser Jack, though, you know, that guy. The guy who reviews trains on Train Simulator 2018 now. Pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool, dude. Um. You see, the thing is, I have a question for you. Is this in train simulator? That's my question, okay? And also, one fact, those things that where the spokes go out towards the rim of the wheels, and then it goes to that flat bit that takes the top wheel to that in the very bottom. <clears throat> You know, that orange bit is going around on the wheels, not the rods. This was a computer game I'd show you.
also, I'm going to be reviewing a different locomotive in each episode. So, no episode is going to be the same until I run out of locomotives to review. And I'm going to start interchanging rolling stock. Oh, and also, for you British fans, the next episode's not going to be your electric virgin pendolino, or something of that nature. <coughs> Whatever you call it. And actually, the traction logs are very glitchy over 50 miles an hour. Really, they get very glitchy over 30 miles an hour because, really, at any mile an hour, they start getting glitchy. I do certainly prefer looking at it at 11 miles an hour. Nice, smooth, slow, spin. Like a slow. Like a slow. So this is going to be a two-part episode, just note that. Sorry if you just heard that little kitty cat. By the way, uh, for you American viewers, the next episode is going to be about the Union Pacific Challenger, the little cousin, or the little brother to the big boy, which, by the way, I think the big boy is better in practically every shape, way, and form. Honestly, it's faster, stronger, has more wheels, and, um, yeah. This thing has a chassis set for half of the big boy, really. Minus those back wheels. Chop that part off and put another of the front chassis bit on, and, yeah. Thank you, babe. Perfect. Mwah.
Isn't that nice to look at? By the way, on this channel, you're gonna call the cat General R4. It's a demon kitty, trust me. I know it is. Because it tried to kill me once. I have a question. What are those things on the side of the coach? I mean, those things. That look like vents, I guess, in a weird way. You know, those lumps that have the big teeth on them? Yeah, guys, tell me what that is. I don't want to say no idea because I'm not that big of a railroad at first, but I think I could run. Model Railroad, pretty good. Yeah. And also, the derailment is so severe that one of the locomotives gets damaged. It's simple. Buy another one to lighten up the workload on all the others. Located practically on the turn. And now it's raining. Whoop to do. Good news is the rain cleared up and now it's night time. Bye guys! Sorry.